What up? Hebrew here and today I'm gonna show you how to install the too many items in game inventory editor for Minecraft on the Mac and if you know how to locate uh, your Minecraft folder on the PC this will work for PC too um, and you, if you're wondering how it's looking it's looking like that and it's just popping up there when you're uh, going into inventory uh, or a chest or a craft table uh, or a uh, furnace which is brilliant and uh, another thing that's brilliant when we're talking about brilliant is that it will also load uh, the stuff that you have uh, modded into the game uh, I currently don't have anything but I'm gonna fix that um, sooner or later when uh, all my stuff gets updated uh, but it will uh, load all your mods so I can uh, ensure you that but I don't have any right now but anyways um, it will also be working for multiplayer which is super awesome and uh, it's based on the slash give command and uh, slash i and slash item and you can also create uh, custom uh, commands for that I think but I don't really know how you can probably search it out um, so uh, let's get into the installing what the Alright, so I uninstalled the mod and uh, now I'm gonna show you how to do it by uh, reinstalling it again. And uh, you will need one thing, the tumanitems.zip which will be available for download in the description. And uh, you will also need the terminal but that's already on your computer. So you just write tur up there and it will show up. Click, click it right like that and uh, open up awesome list which will also be available for download in the description if you want this. And, uh, this will also be written in the description, um, but I recommend you to download this if you want to redo it later or install any other mod, because yes, this works for other mods too. And uh, then just paste that in there and uh, press enter. And uh, do not close down terminal now, because we will need this to be right there uh, later, or uh, stuff will be messed up. And we don't want that to happen, right? Um, then you go into Macintosh HD because we just created a new folder here called MCTMP, and uh, it will be in users, username, and MCTMP. But for me, it's like showing up like this for some reason, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then you're gonna double click to an items, and as usually, you will get a zip folder or a folder out from a zip folder. Uh, double click that. Mark all of these like that, and the GG2, uh, the README, you can leave that, and you can also read that if you want some info about the mod. And uh, drag that into there. Uh, one of the files will ask if you want to replace it, it will be the gg.class, and uh, you should say yes by replace like that. Uh, you can close that down, and uh, that down too. And uh, we have one more code in here that we want to put in the terminal, so. Uh, Go in here, copy that, like that, uh, paste that in here, let load like that, and then you press enter, and uh, we just uh, installed it, and you can check if uh, it worked by going into Mac Macintosh HD again, and uh, see if the MCTMP is still here, and uh, as you see it is not, so uh, it is installed now, so have fun with the ENV edit, uh, don't go too crazy about diamonds and stuff I recommend to have some fun with TNT and uh, yeah like the mods that you're installing you can uh, just do not please uh, ruin your minecraft experience by cheating too much have fun with TNT that's what I'm gonna do so uh, leave a little rating with the power of your thumb before you go and uh, you may also subscribe for uh, future updates on this mod because I will be uploading uh, tutorials uh, for this mod uh, when uh, Minecraft beta gets updated so uh, keep an eye out for that uh, peace out